What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Device Vids, and Apple has released iOS 8.1.3. They released it earlier today, and I just wanted to warn you guys in this video, first and foremost, to not update to iOS 8.1.3 if your device is jailbroken on iOS 8.1.2 or any iOS version beneath that. This version is not able to be jailbroken by any jailbreak utility, so it does patch the Taiji jailbreak that works on iOS 8.1.2 and all the other iOS 8 versions beneath that and also of course all the other jailbreaks will not work with this before that so basically iOS 8.1.3 is not jailbreakable right now and I just wanted to warn you guys not to update your device if you want to keep your jailbreak and I also wanted to let you guys know just some information about the future of jailbreaking what's coming in the future of course now with the Taiji jailbreak not functioning on the latest iOS version some of you may be wondering what's next when will be the next opportunity that I get to jailbreak the latest version of iOS and before I get into that I just want to mention one thing if you updated your device to iOS 8.1.3 and you want to downgrade it back to 8.1.2 so you could jailbreak using Taiji as of right now the time that I'm recording this video which is January 27th 2015 it is possible to downgrade from 8.1.3 back to 8.1.2 However, that method will not last long. I will have the tutorial in the description down below. I did make a video on that. And basically, whenever Apple releases a new iOS version, in this case it's iOS 8.1.3, the previous iOS version before it is only installable for a very short amount of time. Apple will soon prevent you from installing the previous version of iOS, and the only version that you're going to be able to install is iOS 8.1.3, and that's, that will be the case soon. Again, the only version that you will be able to install soon will be iOS 8.1.3 but for right now because iOS 8.1.3 was just released you can downgrade back to 8.1.2 and then jailbreak so it just takes Apple a little bit of time to kind of close the previous installation time period so again there's a slight overlap right now that allows you to downgrade so if you want to downgrade and you upgraded, you upgraded your device by accident or you didn't know make sure you do that as soon as possible use the video down below in the description while it still works. And of course, as soon as this method stops working that I'm talking about, just make sure you check down below in the description. I'll be letting you guys know as soon as that happens immediately, whenever Apple stops uh, this method from functioning. Again, I'll update the description down below. I'll say that that method no longer works. Also, in that actual video's title and description that I'm talking about, the downgrade tutorial, I'll also be letting you guys know there. So again, just before you try to download your device using the video that I've been talking about, that tutorial, just make sure you check and make sure that the video still works again before attempting it. Once Apple does prevent you from going back to 8.1.2, you will never be able to downgrade back to 8.1.2. You'll just have to wait for the next jailbreaks to be released, which again is what I'm going to be getting into in just a second. And just one last thing, I know I said that earlier, but I just want to show you this. Basically, it is proved that 8.1.3 patches the jailbreak because Muscle Nerd, who's a popular jailbreak figure in the scene, basically tweeted out Apple's changelog for iOS 8.1.3. And if you scroll down, you may not understand all this, but as you can see, the credits for these exploits that were fixed, so the security fixes in 8.1.3, as you can see, they go to the Taiji jailbreak team. And this is just proving that, as you guys can see, the exploits, or some of the exploits at least, that uh, Taiji relied on to jailbreak are patched. And if these exploits are patched, that means the jailbreak is completely uh, unusable because of these exploits are patched. Just wanted to quickly uh, point that out in case you were wondering how I knew that iOS 8.1.3 patched the jailbreak. I'll reserve put a link down below in the description to that tweet from Muscle Nerd, and also, of course, the direct link to the security content, again, in the description. I'll be sure to put that there. And I want to talk about the future of jailbreaking. So, you may be wondering when the next jailbreak is going to come out. Now, we really do not know. You know, we could be surprised. I've been surprised several times in the past. But generally, what I would assume my best bet would be, you're not going to be seeing another jailbreak until iOS 8.2 is released. And the reason for that is... No one's going to, or I don't think at least anyone's going to put in the time to jailbreak 8.1.3 when uh, 8.2 is just about to be released. And the reason for that is whenever a jailbreak is released, exploits, so basically the exploits that the jailbreak uses to function, are disclosed to the public because, of course, the jailbreak is available. And, of course, as soon as that happens, Apple is going to go look at the exploits in the jailbreak and fix them in the next version of iOS. 
So if someone were to release an iOS 8.1.3 jailbreak, which of course takes a lot of work to release a jailbreak, if someone were to do that, it would be most likely it would be patched in iOS 8.2. So of course that would be kind of wasted effort because it's just a small iOS version. It just contains a few fixes, a few bug fixes, things like that, improvements. It's no big update. And iOS 8.2 will be a big update. It's going to include support for the Apple Watch, so you could pair it with your iPhone. There will hopefully be some other features, but we're not sure right now. But generally when there's a bigger update than a, you know something like 8.1.3, when it's a bigger update like 8.2, most likely there will be newer, better features. So you may as well uh, jailbreak that iOS version. That's what the teams are doing. They may as well jailbreak major versions as opposed to wasting exploits on smaller versions. However, I could be completely wrong. For example, uh, before the Taiji jailbreak, the Pengu for iOS 8.1 jailbreak utility was available. Then Apple released 8.1.1, which did patch the jailbreak, the Pengu jailbreak. And then I would have guessed that there wouldn't have been a jailbreak till 8.2, but of course there was the Taiji jailbreak that did work on iOS 8.1.1 and 8.1.2. So I could be surprised again. There could be a jailbreak release for 8.1.3. And even though it is technically a waste of exploits, it's not always bad to have a jailbreak for a minor version of iOS. For example, this last Taiji jailbreak was good because it kept the community active with a jailbreak for the iOS 8.1.1 and iOS 8.1.2 versions. So, of course, new, new users could continue to jailbreak. So it's not all bad, but of course, you know, exploits are disclosed and now, of course, they're patched. And in an interview with the Taiji team, I download blog, which is actually a popular iPhone and jailbreak blog, basically asked them some questions. And the Taiji team did say that they are confident in the future of jailbreaking. So for future versions of iOS, as you can see, do you feel confident about the future of jailbreaking? Do you have exploits that you haven't used yet that you could use for future iOS versions? And they say quite confident. So that's always good. And who knows? Maybe they will release an 8.1.3 jailbreak. I'm not really sure what that means. If they're going to try to preserve it for 8.2, if they're going to release it ASAP. Again, we'll just have to see. But again, I would personally bet on iOS 8.2. But of course, I could be wrong. And also, I'll be sure to include the links down below in the description to the Taiji team interview with iDownloadBlog if you want to see that for yourself. So basically, what I want you to take out of this video, just the main points, just to do a quick recap, is don't update to 8.1.3 because it does patch the Taiji jailbreak. It's not able to be jailbroken right now by any jailbreak tool. And if you want to downgrade from 8.1.3 back to 8.1.2, Check down below in the description. Make sure that that method that I mentioned earlier is still working. And of course, if so, just watch that video. And I'll be letting you guys know again down below in the description if that video still works, if that downgrade method still works, if Apple you know, has uh, allowed us to do that or if they haven't. And I'll also be letting you guys know in that video as well in the title and down below in the description of that video. And also, I wanted to let you know that the next jailbreak will most likely be coming out at 8.2. But again, I could be wrong. And just one very last thing I'd like to throw in is if you want the change log for iOS 8.1.3, so all the changes that it includes to iOS, it's just basically a bunch of minor bug fixes and improvements, but I'll be sure to put it down below in the description. I'll paste it in there so you can check it out if you want to see that. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.